If you're looking to print iMessages from your iPhone for either legal reasons, court hearings, or even something memorable, a conversation from a loved one, what we can do here is go through and print them out. I'm going to go through and teach you how to print iMessages from iPhone in this tutorial. Not only that, I am going to give you three different ways. I definitely know how important it is to make sure you save these text messages, so we're going to go ahead and teach you how to print them. I would also save them on your phone and leave them there, especially if they are for a court hearing, because they may want to see it as well, and it's good to have it on your phone too. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin from Helpful Tutorials. If you're new here and you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, make sure you do me a favor, smack that subscribe button, would love to have you. And with that, let's go ahead and dive right in and show you what we're talking about. So the first way is using a program. This software is available on iPhone slash two slash PC.com. And the links are in the description and the pinned comment. So here we are opening up the app and you're going to make sure that you have your phone plugged in and you're going to just go ahead and log into your phone, enter your passcode so you can go ahead and get in. It's going to go ahead and then read your device so it can get the messages so we can go ahead and print them out. And the good thing is you can print them out in multiple formats and we'll definitely show you all of that. So this will just take a moment to load. I'll go ahead and speed this up for you so you don't have to wait. Great, it did go ahead and pull up the iMessages so we could see three of them available. If for some reason it's not reading your iMessages, then you'd wanna back up your phone with iTunes 12.0 or newer. And you just do the backup and then you come in here and on the left you can choose iTunes backup. But since they came up, let's go ahead and click on them and show you what's going on here. I have to blur out the phone numbers, but basically you get the idea of what's going on here. These are all the messages that have been received on the iPhone, and we can view them all here in this program, which is really nice. Now we can go ahead and choose print, and then we can go ahead and choose which message we want to choose, and the dates, and then go ahead and start printing. And this will go ahead and print to the printer we select here. There it goes. So that's printed now. That's a really nice option. But we also have the copy feature. So if you're looking to take these messages into a format, for example, PDF format, this is a great way to do it. If it's anything for a court case, I would recommend doing it as PDF because then you can present it automatically. And we can go ahead and just next through here and change the PDF page file size if you'd like. We could leave it on legal if it is for legal and then go ahead and hit next and next again. And finally, start copy. This will show you where you can save the file and we'll go ahead and save it. Next, we'll go ahead and open it up. Here you can see the message is all ready to go. So we have this file, it's saved, and you can also print it from within here. So if you rather print it through the PDF file, this is another option to do. All the inf important information like metadata, phone number, date, timestamp is visible for every message. This could be a real game changer if you're looking to print iMessages from iPhone or a court case. To do that, you can just go to File, Print, or hit the Print icon, or even right-click and choose Print. Make sure your printer is correct, and go ahead and choose Print. This is another way of printing it. Going back to it, there are other things you can copy. If we go ahead and copy, we can also save it in other files, HTML, for example, or a picture file. We'll show you an HTML one as well. We'll just go ahead and throw it on the desktop here. And let's show you the HTML file to give you a good idea of that. And again, we could right click on here and just choose print. And we can finally print it out there. Again, I will have the link down below. You can do it in color or black and white, depending on what you want to use for your printer. And if you want to check it out, the link's down below. Method two to print text messages would be copying through SMS. So what we would do here is click on your iMessages on your iPhone, 
And here's a message. You can see basically I ordered too much pizza. So I can hold on your order and it'll pop up there and I can choose copy. Once I do, I can go out of here, go inside notepad, tap once and then tap again and hold and then paste. So now I have the option that I can go ahead and print this. Once I have the message here, I can click on the three dots here and go ahead and choose print. And I can go ahead and print this directly to my printer. Now, if you don't have a wireless printer, you can also just copy and paste this inside your email and email it to someone else. That would work the same way. However, with these, keep in mind that you're not going to have the person that started the conversation and the date and the timestamp. This is just the message itself. So for method three, if we are looking to go ahead and get more information like the date, timestamp, and who it's from, the next thing would be to do is take a screenshot. To take a screenshot, you hold the top two buttons really quick and you'll probably hear a noise that goes Ch -ch -ch. Go ahead and tap that picture that's right there and you'll have it here. Now what I want to do is go ahead and hit done for the edit and you can save it the photos or save it to files. You don't want to save it and you just want to send it right away. You can click this up here, which is that square with the line, the arrow up and you can go ahead and choose print. When you choose print, your wireless printer will come up again and you can go ahead and select it and send it. If you don't want to do it that way, you can go ahead and hit that same object and go ahead and choose email, email it to your desktop. And then when you get it on your desktop, you can open it up and print it from there. So those are your options to go through and print the messages. I prefer option one because it does have the software that automatically brings it in looking really nice inside of the PDF file, which I think is really big and really nice to have. Not to mention the other ways that I showed you can get quite tedious because you're copying pasting over and over again, or you're taking a screenshot over and over again. So those are your options. Let me know in the comments which one you're going to go with. If you're interested in option one, I will go ahead and put that in the pinned comment as I mentioned. Thank you so much for the view.